did this video here, the new IFB soul winning scam, and a uh, bunch of Anderson's people got all worked up and everything else because I was, you know, saying things that uh, kind of affect their income. Uh, that's what this whole thing's about. I've shared this here before. This is Jack Hiles' book uh, on Let's Go Soul Winning. I was trained in this method by Baptist churches I went to when we went out door to door. So I know all about it. I'm a you know, insider, if you will. But it says here, page 33, uh, number 18, ask them if you died now, do you know that you would go to heaven? I think that is the best question that I have ever used. Some used, do you know Jesus? Are you born again? Are you saved? Are you a child of God? I try to avoid terminology that will be too religious for them. Many don't know that kind of terminology. Avoid terminology that's too religious for them. This way right there. Okay. Right there it is. Hopefully you can make that out. And there's a whole lot of other things I'm going to be discussing in great detail. Um, just so much else to do right now. I haven't been able to get through this thing yet, but we'll get to it. But I just saw something here recently that Stephen Anderson put out just further confirming what I've been saying all along. Um, these guys are they're scam artists. That's all that they're doing. Um, Jack Hiles was all about how to build a huge corporation. He died a very wealthy man. You can watch my studies on Jack Hiles. His daughter comes out and says, my dad died a very wealthy man. He left none of it to us. Left it all to the organization. <clears throat> yeah, absolutely. It's multi-level marketing is all that these guys are doing. It's a pyramid structure. The guy at the top makes all the money and you get, you get more people you get into your little pyramid structure. The more lower downs are making more money to funnel it up to the top. That's how you make a lot of money. That's what this soul winning thing is all about. It's about going out knocking doors just like salesmen do or at least they used to do they don't do it so much anymore but door-to-door -door salesmen would do it Jehovah's Witnesses Mormons Seventh-day Adventists a lot of the cults out there will do this and the Baptists use the same tactics exactly to go out and get numbers and invite them to their church buildings to get their money and and the, and it's just all about this they, they have to increase this soul winning thing um, they're not even preaching the gospel to these people uh, again, where's the, where's the, you know, I have planted a polis watered, but God gave the increase. Where's that at? And then where's the confirming the souls after these people supposedly get saved? It's not there. It's all a scam. It's all to get these people in to get their money. Let me show you. Just came out of the video. Smiley Steve here with his, hello, I'm Pastor Anderson from Faithful Word, Faithful Word Baptist Church in Tempe, Arizona. You know, watch. It's the same recorded. He says the same thing at the beginning of every video. Okay, he's a fraud. He's fake. Here we go. Hey, everybody. Pastor Stephen Anderson here from Faith Forward Baptist Church in Tempe, Arizona. Tomorrow is the big day, the Soul Winning Mega Marathon happening all over America and all over the world, all 50 states, lots of foreign countries. If you don't yet know where the event is for your area, just go on YouTube and search Mega Marathon and whatever state you're in or Mega Marathon and whatever country you're in because we have events going on in all 50 states and in tons of foreign countries all over the world. So find the event near you and please participate in this. It's going to be a great day. Many, many souls are going to be saved. Now, I just want to take a quick moment in this video to talk about uh, the reporting of the results. So the way that this works is that you're going to report the results to the pastor that's in charge of your area. So each event will report the numbers to the pastor that's in charge of their region, okay? And we're basically just looking for two numbers, okay? We just want to know at your particular soul winning event, how many people showed up to go soul winning, how many people participated, and then just how many souls got saved. So those are the two numbers, just how many people went soul winning, and how many souls got saved. And when you're counting how many people went soul winning, count everybody who went. So obviously you're gonna count the talkers and the silent partners because if someone comes as a silent partner, they're still part of that team. They're still part of that group that went out soul winning. You know, they're they're praying and they're they're participating and part of it. Okay, so soul winner and, and the silent partner, you go out in twos and things, that's exactly how I used to do it. Uh, when I was going to the Baptist church and things, that's 
the tiles method and whatever else military method too but we won't get into that but okay fine uh you know x number of people showed up but now listen to what he says about this thing of you know the soul winners and how you count them check this out so we want to make sure that we count everybody man woman boy girl infant suckling who actually comes to the soul winning event man woman boy girl suckling um a child that's nursing is counted as a soul winner uh you see what it's about i'm pastor jack hiles pastor of the largest baptist church in america in the world in fact and i've led more people to jesus christ and I've done this and I've done that and we've we've got 20,000 decisions and we run 5,000 in Sunday school and 50,000 in Sunday morning service and but you see it cons the sucker um hi this is Bob Mills and he earned fifty thousand dollars his first week at uh, Advantech Technologies Limited Incorporated or something selling um, how to make a lot of money quickly booklets or something you see they get the numbers there to impress people and he'll go on to say here a little mind control thing and say he'll say it's it's not about the numbers we're not about the numbers you heard it here you know and, and whatever else but just report the numbers let's continue and gets out there and goes soul winning even if they're just along for the ride and then when it comes to the salvations, obviously, you know what? We can't control whether people get saved or not. So I, 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 I we can't control whether people get saved or not. We can't control it. Really? Um, so the gospel doesn't, you, you're preaching, preaching a gospel to people that you cannot say will guarantee them going to heaven when they die. Get back to this in just a minute. I don't really get excited about setting a goal for how many people we're going to get saved because it's really just our job to preach the gospel. You know, we can't control whether people get saved or not. <laughs> it's our job just to preach the gospel. We can't control whether people get saved or not. Really? Really? Well, it just so happens that a certain little hypocrite here back in uh, 2008... March 16th, 2008. Uh, I wasn't even on YouTube at this point in time. And let's see what old Stevie says here with his basic soul winning demonstration video. Witnessing and gospel here. Check this out. Hi, how you doing? I'm Pastor Steve Anderson. Just wanted to invite you to Faith Forward Baptist Church. Do you go to church anywhere? Or? Uh, yeah, I go to uh, Grace Community Church. Oh, okay, yeah, right here on Southern Avenue. Mm -hmm. Well, listen, more important than going to church, though, so if you were to die today, are you 100% sure that you're going to heaven? Uh, are you 100% sure that you're going to go to heaven if you were to die today? Um, exactly what Jack Hiles said to say in his book. I just read it to you. Um, are, are you 100% sure? Over here he says, we don't really know for sure if they get saved or not. <laughs> okay, listen to what he says. We'll continue here a little bit. I think so. I'm a pretty good person. Okay. Well, could I just take a couple minutes and show you how you can know that 100% for sure? Sure. I mean, okay. <laughs> can I just take a couple minutes and, and show you how you can know that 100% for sure? Uh, but here we are, you know, 11 years later, and it, it, we're not really sure if people really get saved from what we preach. But our, our responsibility is to preach. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's continue. All we can do is be faithful to get out there and preach the gospel. So I'm going to consider the event a success. Based if you're if you're being faithful preaching the gospel, but you don't know if it's saving people, what in the world are you preaching? Based upon how many people participate, that's the most important number to me. How many soul winners got out there at each particular event? And of course, we will rejoice over souls that are saved. Uh, but when it comes to soul winning, always keep in mind... We will rejoice over souls that get saved, but we don't really know if they got saved. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up, you know? It's just insane. You know, if I would if I would joke and say that this is what these guys believe, people would say, oh, you're crazy, you're slandering them. They come out, you know, out of their own mouth, they're judging themselves. He's a hypocrite. 
Let's go out and preach the gospel. Don't know if it's going to save anybody, but we'll rejoice when people get saved. <laughs> yeah. Because you got to count those little suckling children, though, you know, infant babies. They're soul winners. Mine, that it's about doing a good job. It's about quality, not quantity. You know, we want to get out there and do our best, do a good job, give a thorough presentation of the gospel, and uh, treat everyone as we would want our loved one to be treated. A thorough presentation of the gospel that we aren't sure if it saves people or not. We don't know. But we're going to give a thorough presentation. <laughs> one to be treated if they were getting the gospel. Not to just be in a hurry to just get out there and just crank through a bunch of conversations and, and just uh, try to get as big of a number as possible, right? want to do a good job, soul winning out there. And I know that many people are going to be saved tomorrow because whenever the gospel goes forth, I know that people are going to be saved, but we don't really know if they got saved. <sighs> Listen to a little bit more here. This, this is this is just comedy. I mean, it's it's tragic because he's going to hell and he's leading other people to hell. He's a blind, you know, leader. He's a blind guide, you know, and he's leading people into the same ditch that he's going to spend eternity in, you know. Uh, there are going to be results, you know. When this many people go out soul winning, we know a lot of people are going to get saved as a result. So let's all get out there and do our best. And uh, those that are running the individual events, make sure you get those two numbers, right, of how many people went soul winning and how many souls got saved. And then report those to the pastor that's in charge of your particular region. Like, for example, report the numbers to your particular pastor that's in charge of your region. Um, like a diocese. I guess Faithful Word Baptist Church is, is Vatican City, or, or I don't maybe it's the Archdiocese, I don't know. But, you know, it's funny because they'll have the same, you know, churches, and, and then they'll have satellite churches that are named the same as the Mother Church, you know. Following Catholic models and, you know, marketing scam models. And he's not sure that people are getting saved, but we got to get the numbers. But I don't care about the numbers. But I do care about the numbers. Paul, I'm in charge of Arizona, Utah, New Mexico, Alaska, and uh, Wyoming. Uh, I think South Dakota. I don't. The list is in the description. So check the description of this video, and it will show you which pastor is in charge of which state. So be sure to, that you get your numbers to that pastor, and then we're going to have a live stream. Tomorrow evening, okay, starting around 6 p.m., we're going to have a live stream where we have the results coming in, and it's going to be on my main YouTube channel, S. Anderson 1611, where we have the results coming in live and where we tally up all the different states and foreign countries to be able to have most of the results done tomorrow night so that we can get up on Sunday morning and announce in our churches how the mega marathon went. <laughs> you can get that money in there, boy. Get that money. Boy, we got thousands saved on the soul winning mega marathon. Not sure if they're going to heaven when they die, but brother, we got thousands saved. We had 1,500 infants show up for soul winning. Amen, brother. Preach it, brother. Amen, brother. <laughs> All right, everybody. Let's get out there and do it. God bless you. And uh, be out there winning souls tomorrow. Have a great day. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Oops, I hit that. <laughs> I mean, it's just so ridiculous. You know, this isn't New Testament. You know, where, show me anywhere in the scriptures. You know, we're going to be out preaching the gospel. Go ye in all the world and preach the gospel to every creature, and hopefully some might get saved, but we don't know. We're not really sure. <laughs> oh, we got thousands saved, but I think that they, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. They might not have been saved. And, you know, we're counting uh, thousands of people going out. Good night, people. Wake up. If you're part of this Anderson call, any one of the members of that thing, wake up. It's the Jack Hiles method. It's this guy's methodology. Get this book yourself, this little booklet here. It's very thin, little booklet. Get it and look and you'll see it's the exact same script that Steven Anderson and his people are following. It's all that this is. It's a way to make money. You know, why on earth would you say, we'll go out there and preach the gospel and, and we can't really say for sure these people are getting saved. Why would you make a statement like that? Do you believe what you preach or don't you? <sighs> Wake up.